our team set and uh we're ready up here all righty welcome back squad ops round two of mistwalker uh after a lengthy round one we just heard the uh, you didn't hear it i got to listen in on the extremely short briefing for the militia uh they're basically pushing north to north bridge pushing across it fanning out taking the objective and holding it so it's pretty much what the militia did last round we're not sure what the russians are going to do my guess is they're not going to go for a nine-year flank like they did in the last round um but we'll see uh for anyone that's just joining us we're going to throw up the operation overlay pretty simple uh so we basically have two ars and two medics on both sides no vehicles pure infantry op so it leads to a lot more maneuvering a lot more stealth generally we got the mist on this layer so it's uh conducive to moving your infantry around lots of tree cover um couple of the interesting rules on this one if you missed it on the first round is that normally in the squad you can cross over the rivers no problem we impose restrictions on this map on this operation the infantry must cross bridges and the, the water's too cold so you got to do that um you can hear the, see the second page here which basically outlines uh objectives for the for the map um as we said it's the peninsula down in the southeast uh, first team to get there establishes a fob and then they are on defense. The opposing team's got to dig them out. And that's basically it. Both teams have about the same distance to get there, so it's whoever pushes it, or if one team wants to concede it and then play attack and defend in that way, which is kind of what we saw last team last time. Kind of what we expected to see last last round, but what it ended up being was a uh, duck duck goose. Ring around the rosy. So these guys are ready to go. Militia is ready to go here. Um, I did hear there's a contract out on a player called Quack who picked up seven kills in the last round. <laughs> he did great. That was the flanking guy that we saw. We followed for a little bit. Picked up seven. So for the militia, we're watching the same, from the same perspective, but the teams flipped sides. So it's the other team that we're watching here. We've got Command as Xbit, Pure Paradise, Silent Death, CMYK Matter, and Shadow Ritual are the squad leads. And on the Russians, the same as last round. Burns is command. He got in some. Uh, he got dirty last round. He got in there and got a couple kills himself. We got Nacho, Kennet, Best Pony, and OD Tap as the squad leaders. Looks like we got the live call at 150. So that's just over a minute away. We're gonna roll this one out. My guess is it'll be a lot more direct contact, um, and not so much flanking, just based on how long the last one took. We try to get people. Out. Yeah, usually the second goes faster because uh, try to keep it roughly around two hours because people have things they need to get done on this amazing Saturday. Hey, Shadow. Good. Hey, um, don't be afraid to leave like a buddy pair on a mount. Again, check us out, squadops.gg. Squad like I'm Tedish commentating like for you today. From one or two guys. Karma wished he could be here, but he was under the weather. His voice wasn't the best, so that's going to be rough for talking for two-plus hours. Join us this afternoon, this, this evening, for two more rounds on the same op. Different players. I'm not sure if the commands are the same. You can check it on the uh, squadops.gg website. Join us on Discord. Find all the info at the website. One Life event. All right, we are live. Fail. Everyone's on foot. We got a bunch of cameras joining us today for our man behind the action here, Pen, to switch between, give us nice perspectives from down down low as well as uh, my perspective up high. Switching on the fly as we go. So you'll see there. You'll, yeah. When we uh, switch cameras, you'll see their name in the top right. He's this trash. Oh, God. I would get a list of everybody, I but I have a feeling if I alt tab out, it'll crash. So I'm not. What? I'm not going to try to do that. Sorry, Ben. Savage. <laughs> we got Xbit, well, I mean, XF. I kind of don't give a shit anymore. Shadowed Ritual and CMYK Matter. Those are both squad leads. Great perspective for us. Just limit. Right. Burns and the Neils. You can only push a young man so far. Command. Come back. Hey, 
So so server error 404. Over on your rally. So here we go. Militia. That's not my Everyone's objective. Walking north on the train tracks. I wasn't sure what was which. Getting to that northern bridge and then fanning out. Let's go Same. see if the Russians look like they might Same be up to anything cheeky here. Uh, I'll do, I think I'll do a fire team each. Okay. So I think uh, Bravo will hold one of the, the hill on there. And then uh, Bravo will go over the good. Militia moving north. Russian moving north east. Looks like everyone is just basically going directly as direct as they the can one, two, three, four. for the objective. So you're I love this battle space. Everyone's yeah. in a big block. XF. So great. Pushing in for the militia. Tactical block. Up. Yeah. Best pony pushing in. Top of the line for the Russians over here. Yeah, what are the names people come I, I up with? Him, I told him to. I told him to just run close. The timer on suicide is. Oh, thank you, Pope Leo. Commanders for the second event tonight. Shadow ritual and best pony. So two different commands. Best Pony usually has some crazy, uh, crazy stuff off his sleeve, and I know they faced off against each other a few times, so they, they kind of know whether beforehand. they're they used to crazy south, stuff. So it might be even crazier they stuff to the fortification, like, try to counter the counter. I know that you know that I know that you know. Make the deal. So, aka one, you're. Who's this lagging behind? Pokesmot. Taking a nature walk. With his shovel out. So Canadian Trooper see, asks, are there objectives for this? Yes, yeah, so the objective on this one is to first team to get there on this peninsula. Thinking fidget spinner. Oh, no. Zooming in on my map. There's a building down here in this peninsula in India 9. Um... It's a little ruined fort. First team to get there establishes a FOB, and then they defend. The other team attacks. Slow. See up, baby. <laughs> on the far north, north right, Shadow. Yeah, yeah. Shadowed, north. leading the bridge cross for the militia. They're fanning out, getting down to the objective area. Looks like we got one squad going. A north side, one squad going straight to the objective. They're going to get there uncontested. Squads, contact Four. report. One, Negative no contact. No contact. All right. Looks like the Russians Russia are eyeing the train bridge here. Two, Not seeing any contact because there's nobody there. Full team went across. For the militia. Excuse me, the command is hanging back here. That's a good that's a good perch for command. I like this. He can oversee the whole battle. He's not gonna try to get dirty. He's just back here orchestrating his symphony or cacophony, depending on how it goes. All right, and the Russians look like they're kind of fanning out a little bit to the north. We might have some uh, contact here shortly between Squad 4 for the Russians and who is that? Squad 1 for the militia fighting over the outskirts of Never Lower here. Looks like a fire team for Squad 4 up here. Who is that? So this squad is Nacho's goals. squad. First to die last time. Send it. Yes, go contact Squad 3. Or really like them on that. One and two for the Russians are moving straight yeah, in. Looks like, yeah, we're going to have a lot of furious action here. I, where, all over the place, all at the same time. Four, make sure you're holed up somewhere. It's basically a full line versus a full line here. Loose line. Okay, more of a blob. It's an elongated blob versus another one. I copy that. So yeah, the blue guys on the screen are militia. That's my perspective. Every all the squad comms you hear, 
is going to be from the blue side. We're not going to hear anything from the red side. Radio to One is moving to uh, start flanking. So we just heard them put up their radio. So militia are officially on defense. Sadly, sorry. Uh, squad going south on the peninsula along the river. Guys. Looks like they are going to find these two guys. Got a fire team covering the rear. Still got squad versus fire team in the north. They haven't quite found each other. These guys get caught crossing an open field. Welcome, Rick. Rick Niley. Yeah, check it out on the website. Sign up. Uh, the next step for you would be to sign up for one of the SOTT courses. Take that, and then you can sign up for any of our ops and join us. That's it. We recommend you get familiar with the base game, get your gun skills down, then you'll last a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, even if you die, it's a good time. Yeah, join the Discord too as well. These guys down here caught between uh, the river. Not a lot of cover down here. Some light cover behind these trees. Some brush. But uh, even moving sideways here, this is a tough flank to execute because they're just raining hell down on top of you and you just don't have a lot of move uh, cover to move between. Doing a good job staying alive now, though. I'll be watching our weapon. Hey, you guys go from the back. Cause I'm in no cover. Meanwhile, Wingbreaker asks, "Was bullet penetration a thing on squad yet?" Yes, it is. Um, larger caliber rounds can go through uh, single layers to more or less effect, depending on the caliber, but it's definitely a thing. There we go. Yeah, try and keep pushing. Just Oop. a little bit steady. These guys definitely finding each other. One down. Grenade coming out. This is going to be a devastating grenade. Comes in. Watch your spacing, guys. Oof. Wow. Watch your spacing, guys. Watch your spacing. Spread out. Yep, definitely spread out. He bleeds out. Took some shrapnel in the ass. Northern Stormfront, I need you to continue south. Try and get behind this. Watch your spacing, guys. Watch your spacing. Copy that. Dragon counter frag coming out. It's gonna be wide. All right, they've backed off a little bit. Got in good cover. Yeah, hardened up. That initial contact is always so jacks your heart rate in these ops. It's really amazing how much adrenaline you can get in the one life events versus a normal squad. Especially you get down to the last couple guys, maybe it's just you and you know there's a couple guys around you or whatever. Oh man. Normally you can aim straight, but suddenly your hand starts, you know, shaking because you're you're nervous and your heart's jacked. It's great. Hard to get that in gaming's um, games these days. Yeah, they're still We got a nice line here more or less. Loose battle lines here. They're chilling along. Smoke coming out for these guys on the river, that's good. They need something so they can maneuver. Good wall of smoke that's gonna be established. I see five, six smokes. We got some sandbags going up in here. It's important for this one, because uh, this bunker is a grenade trap. They get outside of it, you just throw grenades in, it's gonna clear it real quick, so sandbags will uh, stop that initial blast before being destroyed. Contact 266, Tommy, or 260, 260. Close south, close south, very close south. Yeah, just light skirmishes across the entire line. Really close to me, really close to me. Hard to cover. Oh, we got a nice flank going on up here. Two guys managed to sneak their way around this 
four-man fire team. We're going to peel off Silas, Team Meister, you're staying here. John, actually, no, Silas and... Uh, I'm sure they know where the fire team is based here. on that Me fire, but gonna they're looking for the Let's rest of them, the which of course aren't there, but they don't know that. We lost you, Jake. Yes, I'll talk about it. We're getting surrounded, I think. At least yeah. we don't have a board. One, just continue pushing north. Team on the river, the pulling out. Buildings for sit rep. Where'd X-Bit go? Is he still across the river? Nope. X-Bit, we've got guys close south and uh, north of us. Just be advised. Looks like he moved into. All right, three. Look north. Look north. Across the bridge. I'd be advised with us trying to locate. All right, one regroup. regroup. Go quiet for a little bit. X-Bit commanding one to regroup and go Run quiet. Pulling them back. They're in a great position to do a lot of damage out there. They just break contact, hole up, wait for the uh, wait for the Russians to push in, and then they can hit him in the back. Looks like they lost their squad leader though. Shadow just went down. So there's five of them out there. A group of three and a group of two. Fragmented versus this group of four in the middle. We're just to hold positions for now, guys. I know it's rough, but just hold your position. Yep, yeah, exactly. He's telling them they're going to do the counter flank once they commit. But again, there's heavy contact there. So exactly what I would want. Calling them out, they're just south across the road from them. Let's see how this hammer can do up here, up north. That five man element we were just talking about. Just calling them to go direct east. This two man squad is going to come directly behind the entire southern element here. If they move with urgency, they could get in there and wreck. My guess is this is command back here. Well, there's Burns. Yep, that's command right there for the Russians. Would be their first contact. Cut the head of the snake off right there. What do we got? Six casualties versus seven, so it's still anyone's game. Squad four, we lost eyes in those people that were. We lost eyes in those people that were. Keys on me. It's possible they wrapped. It's possible they wrapped around you and tried to go south of you. Yeah, yeah I've got eyes around the area. Yeah. Guys, street fifty five, two fifty five. Alright, I need to use my bandage on you, right? Yeah, sorry guys, it's not my fault. Oh, it's my fault. Uh, all the way up is fucking fault. Expert telling us guys they should be in cover. Which so is... I just fucking dig in. That we can't do good it idea. for another 10 minutes. This poor guy. Got him at the worst. Who is that? LaRue! On the reverse side of that ridge from 2 and 5. Known for being shot in the head at 400 meters. Five hundred meters? Four hundred. It was a good shot. He's asking for it again, just out alone in this uh light forest here. No hard cover. I guess he's got a good line of retreat if he needs it. He's got some people coming up on him. That squad is trying that uh river approach again. This is much better. Is there anyone on the other side of the river? Matthias asked, is there a reason he put a rally down? Um it could have been if there was a disconnect. Before contact, just a technical error or whatever, we allow people to rejoin their squad and uh, spawn via rally point as, as long as there's been no contact. Because, you know, it sucks to go through everything and then internet crashes, computer crashes, whatever, and suddenly you're out of the game.
pretty disappointing. Happens in the middle of the firefight, you're SOL, but before it, yep. Generally, that's why you'll see rallies. Does he have that shot? Looks like it. Hey, uh, Is he going to take it? For squad one. You guys are about to come up behind the people that are shooting at us. You got it. Come on. Come on, LaRue. Show that you can shoot back, too. You can get that headshot. Oh, hits the dirt. Oh, he hit him. This guy's bandaging. Falling back to his medic. Oh, takes him out. Down. Snaps him over the mound. Great shot. I was about to, was about to throw a smoke, too. <laughs> so that's going to stall those guys. Yeah, sorry, I don't know that Meanwhile, we've been told squad to one. Now we've been told to, uh, these two guys coming up behind everybody. Where did their command go? Did they get him? There you go. There's the flares. Direct 079. Shots fired. Direct to the east of 401. Can you advance to your west? Yeah, Burns moved over here to join this uh, four-man squad. Scout element slipped by this two-man. Dwarf and Stormfront. Ooh, who got gets found? Jenkins finds him. Oh! Command apparently took one in the shoulder. He's bandaging. Two man element. We just saw it get cut down to one back here. So that hammer anvil strategy is going to be tough with such a small flank inside. Who is this? Dwarf. Hiding. Three, where are you getting hit from? Sneaking. This guy's sneaking up. Oh! Gets tagged from. Didn't see that guy coming around. Good job, these guys. Spider sense that shit coming behind them. Took it out. They were flanking around the Burns still surviving over there. I'm sure he's got a medic nearby. I'm patching up the pole. Uh, I would recommend three stand on the southeastern end, two on the northwestern end. Who is this poor north. guy? Miyamoto. Hiding. Exposed. Don't know if they know he's there, but he's in a decent spot. He could cause some havoc there if he lets everyone slip by him. Looks like Russia is kind of consolidating their line. Forcing militia into their defensive shell here. But there's still plenty of militia left for this final assault. Final objective, if it gets down to it. Enemy smoked out. Northwest smoked to your cell floor. You're just joining us here. So it's a squad ops one life event on Tedish. Normally joined by Karmica, or I'm joining him, whatever you want to call it. Or someone is, commentators, but he's uh, feeling under the weather today. So I'm your solo commentator for this one. I have two more rounds south tonight. South Same map. Operation close. Mistwalker. Copy it. All right, new objective is to maintain control of Neva Lower. We're yeah, Moto, get dirty down here. Yeah, they still, they're still contradicting in Gulf 8-3. Don't need chasing what's comfortable. Firing through that shed. Grenade coming out from the Russian side. Could be good. Oh, a little short. Got one on the fence. Miyamoto in trouble here. He's falling back. Always a good call when you're you know you're up against a larger force and they know where you are. Make contact, fall back if you can. Always have that line of retreat. Uh, we're in contact to northwest and southwest up here at squad one's position. I copy that one. XF. Hold we're taking one. Holding yeah, a vigil up on those rocks. Go back to two and five. Yep, 
Got a good line of sight. Hit the rim Anyone pass. coming in? Fortunately, that also means they probably have a decent line on sight on line of sight on him as well. And he's gonna be a good contrast on those rocks for anyone looking in. So it's, direct to direct south right now. it's always dangerous south, poking south up one, over a barricade. One. They're looking away from them. Score is roughly yeah nine to ten. Still neck and neck here. We are seeing some movement um, to our uh, east, we believe. LaRue's still keeping these guys busy by the river here. After taking out one of them. All right, looks like the Russians have formed up more or less a platoon line. They're going to sweep through west to east, make sure everyone's on the peninsula, and then try to move in and crush it. We'll see how it goes. Peninsula's in a pretty good defensive position here with this squad up on these rocks. Lots of open ground, every 360 degrees for them. Good cover, lots of different places to poke out of, so hard to suppress this whole formation hey, if it comes down to it. it. Just comes down to individual gun skills. Yeah, they're uh, anywhere from, we've seen them since uh, 240 to about direct west. Copy. We might have fire team coming up on our northwest. Yeah. So I'll have my guys push that direction if that's all right. Yeah, if you guys want to watch northwest, we'll watch southwest. Copy. XF got his pistol out here. Not the rock. best choice for long range, but up. especially that what is it, eight round Makarov thing's uh if we can get a, not ideal. If we can get a line of guys between one to three and then three to four, I think that's the best way we can do it. Yeah. I got him out in the open in these fields in the town. Looks like they're falling back towards the, the Russians are kind of at a halt here, regrouping, figuring out what's going on. Yeah, as for soon. Burns is still up. Their command is still up. Be two and one. Four, continue pushing to squad one. Two, are those enemy contacts to your east or south? More or less, we got a line across the north. Three man element down on the beach. And that's the whole game. We got everybody on this screen pretty much. Squads, man. X, X calling Welcome out the context. Here. Gulf 8 3 still. Sounds like we have elements flanking to the north of Neva Lower. So two and one are going to hold here. Three and four just hold here. Send out some OPs if you want. Three and four. You good? Trying to get a better idea of what's going on with the enemy force here. That beach crew. Find somebody. Yeah, we're taking, we're taking contact. Oh, it looks like LaRue got tapped. Alfie behind him holding his position now. Versus three on those rocks. It's falling back. Quack. Picking up another one. That's nine kills for him tonight so far. Two in this top, seven, and that's seven in the first one. Pressing fire coming out. Okay, well, you guys are moving. Do you guys want us to engage towards them to uh, sort of Neil's draw some fire? Neil's throwing down possibly? from the Russian side. Uh, we're gonna be engaged at the moment. But so you guys are trying to cross the road. Yep, engage, engage, engage. Getting pinned down. All back into cover. One of them is. I'm hit, I'm hit. Yes. 
Pokemon, I don't know if you saw in the first round, he says, I'm surprised that no one's flanking Four southeast seven. of the river. Uh, you saw the first round, we had a massive flank of the entire rush. I don't know if it's a flank, but it's the entire team. Um, <laughs> they crossed the bridge and played Ring Around the Rosie for an hour. I think both teams were not up for a repeat of that. Quack, if you have a smoke, throw one uh, just a little bit uh, northeast. Tommy. Burns takes down Tommy 20 feet away. Good shot for command. Getting right up in there in the front lines. Screw that leading from the rear stuff. They smoked at the road. They must have crossed. They're throwing smokes currently. We saw Xbit trying to do that last round. He was the first one to cross the bridge and the first one to die on it. Actually, the only one to die on it. Everyone else made it across. He was the only one to die. Two and three, stay vigilant. One and four, we'll try to advance there. These guys are going to try this river right push again. Now with purple and orange smoke. Again, find a solid piece of cover. Server error, trying to get this motivated. Cover. Push motivated. I think he just kind of knows it's... It's a shitty push. No idea how I last. Not a lot long. of uh, not a lot of cover up there. Sparse trees, but they're firing from a hardened position. That's a rough push. You gotta wait for the rest of your team to draw some fire before you can make that push. My saw. Yeah, hook him. I think that was their idea. We'll uh, we'll ask him in the. Uh, post-op interview what the plan was but basically they, they did a giant circle and uh, the entire Russian team ended up on the south side of the river and they didn't have an assaulting force they had everyone on cover fire um, so we'll figure out we'll, we'll ask what their plan was there just set up here in the rocks. didn't work out for them just in case they come up the river I don't want them sneaking up behind three and four looks like that northern rock got shoved off that's a rally there that's not a person One squad in the north, one squad in the south side of the peninsula for the Russians. Who? Coming in on the uh, consolidated position for the uh, militia. Right they got that north, forward OP hardened up. Yeah, copy that. They got any sandbags in there? Nope. Scout, watch the east scout and a medic. If there's any cover, if there's no cover, then go behind too. Server error is pushing his squad on the southern flank. Looks like the northern flank's moving too. Correct, Spurn, no ammo resupplies. Well, be advised, there's contact in this northern bunker. So just get to cover. Roger. All right. We also got three enemies located in the southern bunker. All the right, windows. southern push for the Russians. Counter resistance from the main firebase. This guy hiding in a bush down here. Who is this? Alfie. Coming up on Jenkins. Jenkins is coming up on his position. He's got some great soft cover. Concealment. Can't see much out of it. I guess he can see. Why does he have a shovel out? Come on, dude. <laughs> what what are you what are you gonna do with that? Throw it at him? Get you, get your gun out. Uh Pope Leo, that's not me. Pen, we're getting uh reports that people are hearing Discord slash Steam noises. Is there a possibility that that's you? Because I don't have any of that enabled.
Yeah, Alfie's going for the first shovel kill in squad ops. Too bad he's a patch too early. Can't do it. Oh, the Discord slash um, steam noises might have been one of the cameras that you saw. Depends how they're broadcasting, whether or not you're going to hear that. But when we switch to the the different cameras, it's uh, basically whatever they see or hear. All right, they're coming around the river right now. I think Al, nope, he's not AFK. He's moving. He still has a shovel out. Still has his shovel mean, out. The Did they cross or they come what are us? you doing, buddy? I mean, it's a, it's a great bush, Roger that. and your shovel is pretty. It, it really is, but maybe he's out of ammo? All right, one enemy still located, southern bunker, <laughs> northern window. We'll find he's out. stand peeking out there. We got a loose line here holding back the Russian two squads. Should a, few of us, should a few of us cross this fucking field? Should a few of us push towards that compound direct uh, one one six while we have like the ARs do some uh, cover? That fire? is true, Spurn. It does give you a slightly higher height. However, it does expose no, your head more. Copy. We need to wait for the west to go. Up. But yeah, that, that's what we gotta do. I hope they get However, rid of that. To wait for in the next update, the core inventory. Us. You bring out your bandage to bandage yourself, and it pops your head up six inches. It gets taken off. That's true, Jack. He could be trying to go for the uh, playing dead if you take out your shovel and look down into the ground. It really, really looks like you're dead. He might be dead for real now, though. Nope, you guys got out. Good for him. Cyborg clone asking, what's this op about? Basically, it's attack defend on this position that we're at here. You see the blue guys entrenched hey, in the down. larger compound. That's the position they have to defend. The Russians are moving in to attack. They're in red. It started out as a race. Right, the both, teams, the both teams start at their we main. And the first team by... to get here establishes a defense, and then the other team has to attack. I haven't seen... Okay, I see one enemy in the northern bunker guard tower. It's enemy squad loot. It's like server squad here might be pushing up on this outer bunker. Three guys loosely in it. Bunker. They're making the push now. We're moving, we're moving. Spacing could be better. I'm gonna put a, a grenade in this window. There's someone in the guard. Here we go. One one goes down. Traded. He's exposed. Get the hell to cover. Down. They trade two for one. So one guy left at this outer placement. And he is in a precarious position here. He drops one. Almost gets a second. Drops himself. Well, gets dropped. Doesn't drop himself. Took one in the. Took three in the. Oof. All over those thighs. Brutal. Belly shot. Alfie letting him crawl by. Got his gun out now. Yeah, Alfie is in this this bush formation right here. You'll see it all over this map is fantastic because it is just the height you need to go prone to uh, be kneeling and still be accurate and have 100% concealment. You will. Have have no silhouette if you're in this bush. Same deal here. He doesn't realize the squad has gone straight by him. Hopefully when they go loud, he'll realize that and uh, flank the flankers. Or he looks north. Be advised, smoke north. 
Got a shovel out again. Throwing some north there, there. Russians have taken out the outer line of defense here. It's down to the, the final final compound. And Alfie. I'm seeing 24 KIA on the Russian team and 16. Is that accurate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight Russians left alive. Got eyes uh, down there. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen ish. They're east of you. The cheeky, cheeky shot that Rose Dragon's taking here. Through the window, through the door, through another window. And that's XP, that's command. Oh. Heard someone get tagged. Go down. Who shot him? Was that Alfie? Must have been. Alfie shows his teeth. He's moving north. So this squad on the river snuck by. They finally snuck by. They've been trying to do it all game. Ever since the initial contact, they've been trying to get to this position. Pass this position. Sneak up behind this thing. And right now, there is nobody looking that way. Oh, an expert got tagged from somewhere. Command is now down. There he is. Ooh, right above the eye. Ouch. Good shot, whoever that was. Oh, what? Where did this guy come from? Oh, that's Alfie. Alfie in a great position here. Cause a lot of damage. I don't see any of those guys looking his way. Getting close, getting close. Oh. Drops one, now they know. Drops two. Good job, Alfie. Oh, but here comes that other side we were talk just talking about. Comes in, clears that bunker. Guard tower clear. We have another guard tower. Grenades going out, both sides. You got bandage? Here we go, grenades out. Yeah. Ooh! Right. Is that over? Oh, it's just oh, over. Towards us. They, they're towards us. I saw one enemy in a guard tower. Like they're south? Our they're on the south oh, side? Yeah, they're on the south side. Northern bunker, northern bunker. Drops one. Drops two. Through the window. These guys are having great impact over here. We've got two friendlies yeah, that are no hear the local chat. They're control. inside the compound? What? Oh, what the hell? This building? There you go. Grenades coming out. Oh, we got See if we get it over. Two by enemies still on the uh, right side. Nope, short. I just smoked out that pause. I'm going to flank around wide. Alfie gets spotted. And dropped. Alfie Great job over there, Alfie. Took out what four on that little flank? Yep. Grenade. Ooh, wounds one. And then we got the flank of the flank. The river flank gets flanked on the river. we go. Miss. 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 Gotta line those up. There we go. We got, we got one. Oh! <laughs> Alfie. 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 Al
Good discipline there, not talking after you're dead. It's one of the little rules we add to make it a little bit more intense. After you go down, no communication whatsoever. No local chat, no team chat, no squad Stop. chat, nothing. <laughs> it's hard. If you're, if you're used to playing vanilla, as soon as you go down, you are relaying all that communication. But in this... You just gotta shut up. So this was a much more one-sided game, but it looks like the Russians have turned it around. What was it, like 12 on 7? Now we're down to 3 militia? Versus 4. 3v4? These guys are crawling within three feet of each other. What is that? Diplex and Revy. They can probably hear each other. That flank sees them. One enemy still on the south. Get him! Get him! Get him! He senses it. Nice. Takes him out. Diplex taking down Burns. Command. Now it's even Steven, right? Three on three. Oh, just as I say that, takes down another one. Oh, so it's one. One. Are you holding that flank? Liam, are, now you you're holding the, are you holding the northeast? Northeast? I am. I think I finished them off a little bit. There. There might you hear the, the, the hectic local local chat when it gets down to the dregs. I'm going around south. I'm going around. One v three. Yeah, yeah. I got just got one where I. But am. everyone. So I'm coming around the. Is fragmenting. Let's follow the single Russian. He is undetected down here, sneaking up. Alright, I'm gonna stay close to you, Deflex. A little closer. Who is this? Pokesmot. Heard his name a couple times. Okay, I'm gonna focus on your team. Uh, while trying to stay as close to you as possible. He's a medic. That's a great class to be for solo adventures. Yeah, ever since they gave the medic that single grenade. Oof, oof. These guys real close to each other. He better make his first shot count. Even it up. Sneaking around on these rocks. Here we go. Gonna get him. Yep. Drops him. Oh, wow. Nice shot, Diplex. So that is game round two. The Russians hold, excuse me, the militia hold it down narrowly, though. Came down to two on one. Great game. This has been Operation Mistwalker. Squadops.gg, one life event. Uh, let's see if we can pull in the commanders, see what their thoughts were on the games here. That last kill was a diplex, little Joe. Miyamoto picking up six. Alfie with four. Silent Death with another four. A lot of kills over there. A bunch of people disconnect, so I can't see. Neil's with three. Rose Dragon with three. Nice work all the way around. That was that was a great op. Should be in here in just a minute. I'm here. All right, welcome guys. Nice, uh, nice second round. Very Ooh, close match. Good. Yeah, right. It got down to two on one at the very end there. Um, 
But I think my major questions for you guys were first round. What was uh, what was the plans for each of your sides? Go ahead, expert. Yeah, expert, start it off. Do you want my uh, real plan or the sarcars? Uh, never mind. The real <laughs> plan was to uh, to actually push from the south of the river and take the northern flank on the bridge. The the idea was that the the standard Russian approach is always from the west or northwest. I wanted to do something different and drop off a basis of fire uh, along the other side of the river while I had two squads assault from the northern bridge. But as you saw, we got trapped. We we couldn't push across Northern Bridge because it's quite open and they were already looking our way and by the time we got swung around to the south uh, we were pretty little down in numbers so alright that makes sense yeah that, that Northern Bridge uh, if you're trying to cross it from the east to the west is vicious under fire they had a uh, fire team and a machine gun and yeah it was uh, that, I mean it was great to watch but uh, yeah that's rough and then on the flip side, so militia generally will push on that northern bridge and then get to the fortress very quickly. So I wanted to mix it up, knowing that XBIT always has something under his sleeves. So I actually had my guys push direct north from the bridge to keep it on one direction. And then I had a recon unit on the south bridge who is going to uh, start our phase two, which would be our assault. But as you guys saw, Xpit actually brought his whole team onto my uh, recon unit's squad, wiped them out, and then luckily we were able to hold the peninsula and hold those bridges. And actually, they did a they did a pretty good job uh, defending that bridge. They had a ton of guys suppressing them. But uh, so Xpit, you were the first man on that charge, correct? Across the bridge. Yeah. I, I felt enough shame. I wanted to go ahead and take the first <laughs> bullet. <laughs> it, yeah, and you you were the only one that went down on that bridge crossing. It was uh it was too uh, too ironic really. Yeah, leading leading by example and then of course you're the only one that gets shot. But I think I think the only mistake I probably made during that first round was uh taking squad two off of the western side of that bridge. If they had just stayed there we would have had an exit strategy, but we got locked in. Yeah, that would've that would have helped you get across. I feel like yeah, you were you kind of felt like you were between a rock and a hard place after you pushed your whole whole team across and like crap we lost our lost our foothold but uh yeah and i definitely uh, attribute that that was able to give us just that small advantage because as you guys may know that was my first time commanding but i did have very experienced squad leaders to help me through Tap, kennett best pony and nacho I definitely were able to uh, demonstrate their knowledge throughout that operation it's great work on everyone yeah a lot of good maneuvering going on for sure some, some tense moments and then uh, a lot of maneuvering, but uh, it was good. I know uh, Xbit definitely caught me off guard there for a while because I wasn't getting any force. My uh, infantry battalion pushing around on the peninsula side. I'm like, I don't know where he's at, and we didn't know whether you're taking a wide flank. I mean, you always have new strategies coming out every operation, so it was fun playing against you. And then second round went pretty uh, the pretty expected standard. Both teams are pushing directly in expect the militia to get there first they set up a defense and uh yeah any surprises come around for you guys it looked pretty both seemed pretty under control and just plodding forward as you might expect yeah i think round two played out as normal kind of like you know the russian advance and the militia hold but uh yeah our game plan actually had to uh, get revised on the spot sort of deal we didn't expect Xpit to rush it like the normal meta, so uh, <laughs> we ended up rushing directly in as Russia and got swamped on the south end and ended up having to pull out, wasted maybe 20 minutes trying to get back in position and then able to push for that end there. Yeah, your team that was trying to push the, uh, the river side of the peninsula, the south river side, got bogged down a couple times. But, yeah. Definitely. It's one of those positions, if you can get further to the east side, you've got excellent cover to suppress that southern bunker. But being that we were stuck out in the open and we couldn't push eastbound or anything, we had to pull out and take our losses. Yeah, it's definitely definitely rough on that advance. Been there personally. <laughs> <laughs> but I think definitely a good demonstration of small unit tactics, being able to shoot, move, and communicate on both sides. It was fun to watch whenever I went down. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, that's about all I got, unless you guys got anything you want to add last minute here. 
We're uh, just on it as usual. Yeah, thanks right. to my Follow squad leaders. And yeah, I guess uh, we'll sign off here. Uh, we got the evening op coming up in a couple hours here. Same op. Uh, two more rounds, different commands. But it should be a good time. All right, squadops.gg. Check us out for more information. Join us on Discord. And yeah, it's Tedish signing out. See you guys in a couple hours. <laughs>